Hey, it's Mr. Josh from My Alpha Empowerment, and today I want to talk about looking through the lens of your woman. A lot of guys, when they go to date really attractive girls, they tend to only see things from their perspective. They fail to look at what it actually appears like through her lenses. And the problem with this is, is it's very, very easy to make mistakes along the way. Because you want to put yourself in her position at least a little bit. So if you're appearing, you know, extremely cocky or you're being really anxious, you know, two extremes really, <laughs> nerdy and anxious and then really, really cocky, cocky, overly cocky. And, you know, right now these look a little nerdy, so I'm going to err on that side. But really, you've got to look at what she sees, you know. If you are immediately putting her on a pedestal, guys in their own heads, they think like that is like the coolest thing, you know. I'm going to go tell her how hot she is. And right off the bat, she feels like you don't even deserve her. Because out of your mouth, you said to her subconsciously that you are so hot. I cannot live without you. And I'm saying this because I don't think I'm that great. I'm saying this because you're the greatest thing I've ever seen. If I could make a statue, I would make you the statue that I'm looking at. If I could paint a painting, I would paint you. And you know what, if you had a camera, I would probably take a photo right now of you. And I'm not saying you can't ever compliment a woman, but if, if that's the first thing that's coming out of your mouth, I'm talking like gawking, okay? That is a major turnoff. And through her eyes, she sees that a certain way. She will place you in that category that you don't want to be placed in. Because the guys that get placed in that category, they usually stay in there for life, okay? So learn to not just see with your eyes, I want you to see through her eyes and through her lens of perspective, through her paradigm, the way she thinks, start to learn female psychology, not just from me. The number one thing that's going to teach you female psychology is your experience alone. You can read about it in tons of books, but the best teacher is yourself. It's not me, not anybody else, because you got to get out there, you got to roll your sleeves up and get to work. And you do this by experience. You're going to fail a couple of times. It's okay. We're allowed to fail in life. You know, you don't have to be perfect. You know, one of the things that encouraged me to start this channel was I wanted to paint a picture that getting better with your confidence. I wanted to paint the picture that it's okay to be human. You know, when I started, like I used to be really insecure. When I started studying this stuff about confidence and learning how to, you know, talk to women, um, I always thought that they painted the picture in these like these manuals and stuff that it's like a straight path and like once you're confident, everything is going to be perfect. Okay, like there's going to be zero mistakes along the way, and everything is just going to be so happy. And I found out really quick that that was totally false, okay? You guys gotta learn how to make mistakes. It's okay, it's okay. Because the more mistakes you make, you have more evidence of what doesn't work. It's amazing. Learn to be your best instructor because nobody can be better than you. So to cap it off, I just wanna say, look through her eyes and look at things through her perspective. Is it appearing needy? Is it appearing weak? Because at the end of the day, that's how you're gonna stand out to her, is if you're able to know the way she thinks.